A bicycle slows down uniformly from V0 is equal to 8.4 meters per second to rest over a distance of 115 meters. Each wheel and tire has an overall diameter of 68 centimeters. Determine the angular velocity of the wheels at the instant t is equal to zero. The total number of revolutions each wheel rotates before coming to rest. The angular acceleration of the wheel and the time it took to come to a stop. Okay, so here the initial velocity is given to us vi is equal to 8.4 meters per second. Okay, and then the distance is given to us, and then diameter is given to us. Diameter d is equal to 68 centimeters. Okay. So this is equal to 0.68 meters. Therefore, radius r is equal to 2 is equal to 0 0.68 by 2 is equal to 0 0.34 meters. Okay. First bit. He is asking us to find out the angular velocity. So angular velocity of omega is equal to V by R. So this is equal to 8.4 meters per second divided by 0 0.34 meters is equal to 24.7 radians per second. Okay. Next, the total number of revolutions each wheel rotates before coming to rest. This is the wheel, no? So the total number of revolutions, this much distance, 115 meters, the cycle, the bicycle is moving. So how many full circles? One wheel is a full circle, okay? That means a 2 pi r. This is circle, no? So 2 pi r. So how much, how many circles, those kind of wheels, it will move? To, uh, coming to rest before coming to rest. So here we have to do, what we have to do is we have to find out 2 pi r. Okay. One revolution is equal to 2 pi r. Okay. So that is equal to 2 pi into r is 0 0.34. So what is the value of this one? 2.136 meters. Okay. So one full circle means it covers a distance of linear distance of 2.136 meters. In 115 meters, 2.136 meters is equal to one revolution or one full circle. One full circle. Okay. So here 115 meters, how many full circles? So 115 divided by 2.136. What is the value? And this gives a value of uh, 53.83 revolutions. That means 53 full circles will move, remaining this one. Now what we do is we will convert the revolutions into radians. Okay. One revolution is equal to 2 pi radians. Okay. Therefore, 53.83 revolutions is equal to how many radians? So 53.83 into 2 pi gives the number of radians. That is equal to 338.23 radians. Okay. This is the second bit. Now third bit. He is asking us to find out the angular acceleration. Angular acceleration is alpha. Alpha is equal to, we know how to find out the alpha from this uh, values, omega f square minus omega i square divided by two theta is the alpha. Because this is a known equation, we know the equation, no? omega f square is equal to omega i square plus two alpha theta is the equation. From this equation, I found this one.
okay <coughs> here alpha is equal to what is omega f zero because the bike is coming to a stop you are seeing you know the bike comes to rest therefore omega f is equal to zero and then omega i we already found out 24.7 so 24.7 all square divided by 2 into this is revolutions theta 338.23 radians so alpha is equal to how much negative 0 0.9018 radians per second square okay now last bit the time it took to come to stop so that we this we can find out like this omega f is equal to omega naught plus alpha t therefore t is equal to omega f minus omega naught by alpha so 0 minus omega i omega okay so i used omega i you know so instead of this one i will write omega i you have to avoid the confusion omega i is 24.7 divided by alpha minus 0.9018 so this gives a value of 27 point Three eight seconds are twenty eight or twenty seven seconds. This is equal to twenty seven seconds. Okay, this is the answer for this question. You should know that this conversion of the uh, rotations into uh, revolution first to revolutions from uh, revolutions to radians. If you know this process, one full circle. That means if you cut the cycle uh, circumference, the, the entire one, and then leave it in a linear fashion, that length, how much length it covers, that is nothing but 2.136. Okay, the circumference of the circle, you have to re uh, visualize that one, this uh, bit. If you visualize that one, it is very easy. Then after con getting the revolutions, you have to convert them into radians. And once you convert the ra them into radians, then uh, the answer will be easy. Thank you. Bye-bye.